got to get this together somehow, some way. Like, somehow, some way, we got to just, like, figure out how we're going to get financially independent and get the fuck out of this country. Like, there's no more fighting for freedom here. You know, there's, there's, like, there's no more fighting for freedom here. We just need to hoard whatever wealth we have, whatever resources we have, and make a mass exodus like my mom always told me and this is like a proverb it's like a family proverb like a scared mother the mother who is the most scared of you will fuck you up the most and i don't know what these like white cops are so afraid of when they see black but they're f***ing us up and rather than be combatant and fall into that trap of you know being arrested and then put in a penitentiary where you can work and give them more free labor to support their capitalism I think it's really just time to reevaluate because the anger causes just like cortisol and like cortisol levels to raise and when your cortisol levels are raised you can't properly strategize because properly strategize and i see it as kind of the price we have to pay for freedom like yeah we built a country for white but we did all of these things for you and that will be the price for my freedom to leave like i i, I don't want to fight to hold on to the, to any claim to this land or you know if it hasn't been made clear black people are never going to get reparations because White capitalism and American excellence depends on all of that 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 money that has accrued interest that they made off the backs of the free labor of slaves and you know rather than fight for equality with them and with now with the knowledge that we won't get the equity it's just time to remove ourselves from the system entirely like we just have to leave and it it might it might be like a prideful thing you know like we also deserve to be happy and healthy and we also deserve like a thing beautiful human experience that doesn't include these crazy f***ing crackers. You know, like, I don't know how many different ways I can explain my humanity. I've done it so many times and it's exhausting. And all this, like, Black Lives Matter sh that white people are doing now, it's too late. It's way too late. And I absolutely empathize with protesters, of course. Like, I know, like, you guys have seen my anger. I know what that rage of anger is like, but that rage of anger is extremely unhealthy. And it's all part of, like, the psychological terror that kind of keeps us where they want us to be. Uh, we got to transcend that and we got to realize when things are being set up and plotted just to evoke black emotion and to distract us. This is because they want us distracted and distressed. And my plan or I, my proposition is really just we got to go hard with supporting black owned businesses and no don't take any venture capital from any f***ing white venture capitalists <laughs> and we just gotta get out we gotta get out
They actually have to get the f- out of here and leave white people be. Let them let them deal with the problems that face their country. I don't know where we're gonna go, but it's time to like start making those plans to apply for asylum in other places because this is just, it's gone on way too long and I don't wanna live the rest of my life in America complaining about social injustice like come on these white cops know the complaints like why do we have to keep explaining it to them you know i'm not this is not to diss anyone who marched or protest but that's another thing they expected us to do like we've got to do the complete opposite of that <laughs>